Do you want to learn how to download your Twitch clips and Twitch VODs to be able to post them to YouTube, TikTok, and all those awesome video platforms? Well, lucky for you, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you exactly that. So I'm actually going to show you two different methods on how to do it. The first method is going to be the best if you want to have a vertical kind of video recording, so that way you can easily post a TikTok or make a YouTube short. And the second method is going to be a horizontal view, so that way it's going to be more targeted towards YouTube compilations or any kind of normal video platform, I would say. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to drop a like on the video to help other people find this video. Otherwise, let's jump right into it. But we got to give a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Own.TV. Own.TV is my favorite one-stop shop for all of your stream design, sub emotes, and everything you could possibly need for your stream. They have a bunch of different complete packages that you can buy at ease, and they're all modular, meaning that you and your friends could buy the same package, yet have different looking streams, so you're not exactly copying each other. But my favorite thing about them is that they're plug and play, so you don't need to be a computer scientist on how to actually plug these things to have them work for your stream. But they come with transitions, webcam overlays, different scenes, backgrounds, animations, and everything else that you could ask for. So if you want to help support the channel, feel free to check out own.tv and my link in the description down below. So first things first, let's head over to our clip section. So make sure you're logged into Twitch if you're not already. Go ahead, click the top right corner, and then go to video producer. From here, we're going to look on the left side and click on clips. And then after that, we want to make sure that we click on clips of my channel. So these are going to be all the different clips that chat has recorded of me. So once you found your clip that you want to post to TikTok in that nice vertical form, format or YouTube short, go ahead and click on share. And then from here, we're going to grab this clip link. We don't have to download this clip. So let's just go ahead and highlight that. And if you're on Windows, hit control C or you can right click and hit copy. So once we've done that, let's head over to streamladder.com. I'll leave all the links in the description down below as well as some streaming gear if you guys need some streaming gear. So now that we're on streamladder.com, let's go ahead and enter our clip URL so you can right click and paste and then go ahead and click get clip from here. Now you can see that we have our clip. I'm just going to quickly play a little bit of the clip so you can understand what we're doing i feel like there's a 50 50 chance you guys are playing me so shortcut ahead yeet <sighs> So basically chat just, you know, killed me. That happens all the time. Let's go ahead and click continue. Now we can see our different options. So these are the different options you have. Premium, premium are going to cost money. I honestly just like split or you can do full screen or you can do blurred. I prefer split just because you get the streamer's reaction and the clip. So let's go ahead and click select template. From here, we can choose where our webcam is. So just follow the steps in the top right corner. So it says select area where your face cam is. I'm going to do a four three because that's kind of what my webcam is. Let's go back and give it a sec i'd say right about here is pretty good cancel out this little zoom in that goes on so let's just do right about here i think that's pretty good so now let's click accept we can also unmute it just to make sure that we can hear it okay let's click accept and then now this is where the main gameplay is. I think this already kind of nails it because it has everything featured. So let's go ahead and click accept. So you got the gameplay here. You got my reaction there. You can have the extra option of moving the face cam to the bottom. I kind of like that a little bit more actually. Let's just go ahead and click finish. It should transcode it and give us the video file in just a second. So I'm going to fast forward through this part. So now that it's done transcoding, we have this awesome little download button. Click download and then you have your video file. So from here, you can just go to TikTok, upload it to your TikTok, your Instagram, your YouTube or whatever you want. And you can upload it through there. So now let's move on to the second method so now that we're on twitch let's make sure that we're logged in and you can tell that you're logged in in the top right corner if you got your icon if not log into your twitch account if you don't have a twitch account make a twitch account if you don't already have the option to enable to save your past broadcast make sure to watch the video in the top right corner i show you the settings that you need to enable in order to have your past broadcast actually save on twitch so you can download them later however clips should be saved regardless but make sure to watch that video enable that setting if you haven't already let's move on to the next step and click on video producer the video producer on twitch is basically where all of your clips and all of your VODs and all of these things are going to be held so that way you can go and edit them or download them or whatever you want to do with them. So if you wanted to go ahead and download an entire Twitch broadcast, which it depends on how long you stream for, if you stream for an hour or four, chances are there's going to be a quite large video file. If you just wanted to download the whole thing, all you have to do is click this little three dots right here. And then from here, you'll just click download and it'll start the download. However, I know a lot of you aren't going to want to actually download the entire broadcast because that's going to be a large file. So what I like to do is actually go and click the one that you want to edit up a little bit, click on highlight. And from here, we're basically going to make a new video file, which is pretty cool. So let's say I just wanted to record the part that we ended up playing marbles on stream. Right about here is when we start playing marbles. I'm going to go ahead and find where we start right around here. Basically, this little yellow highlight just tells you 
you where your video is going to start the new one that you're making so I'm just gonna kind of edit it to where I know this is gonna be beginning and so then I'm gonna edit where it's gonna end right about there once we have the part that we want to edit I know this is extremely rough cut I'm just trying to keep it fast for the video you guys can actually go in and slowly do it but once we have the highlighted part so this highlighted part is going to be exported in the new video let's just make a new title for it it'll be marbles with chat and then you have your category which really doesn't matter too much because we're just gonna be downloading it so as you can see the new one is gonna be 25 minutes and 10 seconds as opposed to my two and a half hour long stream so we'll click on publish highlights give it a second you can do more basic info you can either have it to be subs only or everyone chances are I'm going to unpublish this or just delete it after I've downloaded the video but it's gonna take a hot minute for it to process the highlight because it's basically making a new video file for you to download so that way you don't have to download the two and a half hour VOD so while this highlight is processing I'm just gonna click save changes and we'll come back to this later when it's done processing so it's done processing now as you can see we can do a couple things with it we can click these dots over here and we can either just download it from there if you don't want to do that you can also just click on the actual video and now you can click download up here or you can export it depending on where you want to bring it to if you wanted to have this video on your twitch channel so that way other people can see it through the twitch channel you can leave it published otherwise you can unpublish it for private reasons and then you can just go ahead and download the file and then you can upload it to TikTok or YouTube but now I'm going to show you how to do the same exact thing with your twitch clips I just want to thank all my patrons for helping me make all these videos possible if you want to help support the channel link is in the description down below for the patreon if not totally cool if by chance you didn't have your setting enabled where it saves your past broadcast chances are you still have your clips because you don't have to enable that setting as long as someone clipped it in chat for you or you clipped it yourself then you're good to go I'm gonna give you a very quick tip if you actually go to stream manager which I'd assume most of you have up while you're streaming there's actually a clip that button right here so if someone in chat doesn't clip a moment that you thought would be really good you can actually just click this button and it'll clip it for you yourself so you don't have to rely on anybody else to get those sweet twitch clips for YouTube or TikTok. that way you just don't miss a beat little cool trick there but let's actually go back into content and then video producer from here I'm actually going to go down to clips because our processing highlight is still processing so let's go to clips and if let's just say you don't see the clip that someone has taken of your channel it's because you're under clips I've created tab so go ahead and click on clips of my channel so here are all the different clips that chat has taken of my channel let's quickly just find a different clip that we want to download and keep in mind if you want to actually edit down these clips like we did with the VOD you have to have the original video source from it chances are if it's longer than a month or two ago then you're not gonna be able to edit it down because twitch kind of just deletes your VODs after about a month or two depending if you're a twitch partner if you have a twitch turbo subscription will depend on when your actual VODs expire so like I have this one is last month and as you can see I still have the actual raw video footage under my past broadcast so I'm able to save as a highlight and then you can kind of edit it down from trim from there so if you don't have the raw video either you deleted it it's unpublished or twitch deleted it then you're not going to be able to actually do the editing process through there and you'll just have to download it you can edit it through DaVinci Resolve or another third-party video editing software so let's find a clip real quick I actually like this clip a lot and I think it'd be funny as like a YouTube short or something with a little bit of editing I'm gonna show you the clip real quick so let's go ahead and full screen we'll uh, we'll do something maybe like uh, we'll set like a So that's the clip. By the way, if you guys want to hang out with us live on Twitch, link is in the description down below. So I found a clip that I liked. So what I want to do now is click this little share button right here. And then right here, you can see this little down arrow with the line. That's a download button. So if I click this download button, it's going to have the download right here. Now we have the video file and you can feel free to actually upload this directly to YouTube, TikTok, or whatever video platform you would like. But I hope this video helped. If it did, drop a like on the video. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.